gyms are closed. There's so much that you can do with your body weight. But in my opinion, you can even increase the intensity by adding bands into your workouts. You can also add more variations to your workout by using bands that are light and heavy. And they're only 30 bucks if you get them on Amazon. So here's a full body workout you can do at home twice a week to maintain or even increase your level of strength while you're not at the gym. Let's go ahead and get into the video. The first exercise we're going to do is the one arm shoulder press. Shoulders is one of the smallest but most important muscle groups of the body. As you get older, your shoulders are the first ones to go if you do not exercise them. Also, working with one arm works better because you can focus on making sure both arms are getting an even amount of tension. I'd find a band tension that you could do for about 8 to 10 reps. If you can do more than 10, use a heavier band or add another band to increase the tension. Four sets of these is a great start. The next exercise you'll be doing is the push-up. Push-ups are great for building upper body strength. They work the chest, shoulders, and the triceps. They are also beneficial if you engage the core by pulling in the abdominals and squeezing the glutes. If push-ups are too hard, I made a video on how to progress to your first push-up. If the push-up is too easy, this is where you can add the resistance bands to make the movement even harder. Try to find a sweet spot of about eight to 15 reps on these for about three sets. Next exercise we're going to do is pull-ups. And I know a lot of people can't do pull-ups or they don't have access to a pull-up bar, which the first thing you should do if you don't have a pull-up bar is to be creative and find ways to do a pull-up. But say if you can't absolutely find a way to do pull-ups, you can do lat pull-downs with the bands, with the door attachment that you get with the resistance bands. Make sure that you are pulling towards the side of the door that you would push the door open to prevent the resistance band from breaking the door. The reason why we're doing pull-ups or a lat pull-down is to work the antagonist muscles of the shoulder press, preventing injury and building lat activation. You should do about four sets of 10 reps on these. Another back exercise you can do is the rows with bands. You do this by sitting down or you can do it standing up and bending over. This would be the antagonist muscles of the push-up so that we can make sure that we are balanced. Another important exercise for posture and preventing injury is the face pull. This works the rear delts, which are very underactive and need to be strengthened. Now we move to arms. For arms, you can do all kinds of variations with extensions, such as pull downs, overhead extensions, and tricep pull aparts, and many others, while supersetting them with the exercises with a bicep exercise. This can be a band curls, face curls, side curls, and many others. Now we move on to legs. This is where squats come in. The resistance bands can make the exercise a lot harder because you are putting more tension through the movement. Then you can superset it with some leg curls. That way you can work your hamstrings at the same time. Then you can do either regular or sumo deadlifts. It might not be 400 pounds of weight, but it'll definitely increase your strength in your lower back and hamstrings. And that's the workout. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You hit all, all your muscle groups. Resistance bands are awesome because you can do the workout anywhere. You can work out at home with the resistance bands. You can work out at the gym with the resistance bands. You can even go on a road trip and use the resistance bands. You can go hiking, use the resistance bands. You can use these resistance bands anywhere you want to because they're super light. You just throw them in a backpack and, and go. You can go for a hike and then once you're in the middle of the hike and you want to get a good shoulder pump, you just take them out, do you know, a few sets and you get a little shoulder pump, you know? It's a great workout. In my opinion, I'd say probably one of the best investments you can make, probably the first investment you should make if you're gonna be serious about working out. And that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Lifting his name on high.